first and foremost, the competency framework really is a model that was made by members for members. And over 3,000 members participated in building uh, the entire framework. Secondly, I think um, that the competency framework really is the foundation for the SOA's professional development curriculum. Third, um, and very importantly too, the competency framework really is a personal tool for our members as they develop and enhance their skill set and travel the career path that they choose. There are eight core competency areas. I would say that professional values underlies all the work that actuaries do. External forces and industry knowledge influence the actuarial solutions that our actuaries work on. Um, other areas, certainly technical skills and actuarial problem solving, this is at the core of what an actuary does. We go further into the framework outside of the technical realm and look at results-oriented solutions, strategic insight, and then you add three other things to the mix, communication, leadership, relationship management and collaboration. And together you have a set of eight competencies where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. The competency framework tells us what we actually need to do. It's the beginning of the process for us. It really, in a very real way, tells us that what we're doing now is necessary, but it's not really sufficient. Most actuaries, when they think about what they need to do to develop their skills, think about the technical side. Think about what's really important to us as actuaries. What the competency framework does is it takes it up that next level. It introduces a whole new set of competencies that actuaries who if they want to really improve the profession, improve themselves, need to take seriously. We hope that in the future, in the near future, it will be used for um, decision making about professional development. So as an individual, they'll sit there and say, okay, what is it that I want to spend my professional de development dollars on? And it, you know, again, it might be with us, it might be with a completely separate organisation, that's perfectly fine. But the big thing is that they can help, they can decide what it is they're going to focus in on. And that, uh, you know, just enables the, the growth of them as a profession, um, means that in the workplace they're seen as being a more and more um, competent and able person and that's going to raise the profile of actuaries across the board um, and, and, and emphasise the importance of the broad skill set that they have. I think they should engage with the competency framework to add together strong technical skills with these ideas of being a good communicator, of being a good leader, of thinking strategically. You know, there's a lot of power that's available when you combine a strong technical base with good ideas, good innovation, good strategic thinking. The Competency Framework Self-Assessment Tool is an online tool. It has a hundred statements where you can select how important that certain item or criteria or skill is to your current position and then you can also rate yourself on how well you think you fulfill in that skill. Um, that's used to identify gaps that you may have and what I like about it particularly is that it gives more specific definition to what the skills are. So whereas one of the competencies is communication, I think people often think about that as just talking when really communication is about listening and writing as well or leadership. Um, we tend to think of just as people in higher level but the fact is you can show leadership at any level that you're in or in any role you're in. Um, so I think that the self-assessment helps you identify very specific ways of fulfilling the competencies. The personal planning workbook allows you to take the gaps that are identified in the self-assessment tool and not only rank them in terms of where you have the biggest gaps, but to then start putting specific targets onto those areas where you need specific development. To some extent, I think the, the, the team and the organization are synonymous in the business that we're in. Um, you could sort of take uh, kind of the team comments and extrapolate them almost to an organizational level uh, and, and come up with the same result. I, I think ultimately you're trying to analyze where do gaps lie in the organization um, 
at, at an organizational level and then fill those gaps with individuals. Uh, and in doing that, you're at the same time assessing gaps at the individual level, uh, but kind of with the organization in mind in terms of, of making sure that they get filled.